Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 33 of Delicious Party Pretty Years. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. We are finally here. Finally at the freaking Halloween episode. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just ready to see Amane in her angel costume. I mean, ever since last week, we've been seeing, I've been seeing nothing, nothing but fan art of Amane in her Halloween costume, and I love it. And so it just makes me more excited for the Christmas and the New Year's episode. Bruh, like, oh, Her darkness, she going up, baby. The one day where you can dress like scary. And then get sick. Yeah. For me, I never really got sick the day after Halloween. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, God. Okay. What about him? God. Show. 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 We could have had the conversation about narcissism. Then we could have had the opening. Y'all really did that. I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a little mad. I ain't mad, mad, though. But... <laughs> It, it just makes me wonder what they're going to do with Nasusuru as, like, the rest of the ish. Because, like, bruh. You know, the last time we saw him, he, he was back, you know, where, you know, Kome Kome and the rest of them are from. So, um, yeah. But where are we going with him? I mean, are we are we doing him, like, once again, Picario from Kira Kira Pretty Here? I mean, because see, here's my thing. He kind he he kind of gives Picario vibes, not as much. I mean, mm, it's a hit and a miss. I feel like still, in my opinion, Picario was a better character than him and Nasusuru. In my opinion, because like I feel like he felt empty and such. Well, with Picario, he felt more like a character, and you really understood him. All I can say is, once again, go watch Kita Kita Pretty Kill All the Mode and then come back on this. Like, I was sitting here thinking about it a while ago. You know the one episode when they had, when he was like, oh, hey, y'all, here's the despair, but y'all can leave and then you're going to come back. What the hell was that? Like, so. Oh, he a picky eater. Oh, okay. Basically, yes. That's who you want to invite. You want to invite him. Yeah, the old you would do that. But you right now. Q. 
Because she still has so much, like, anger and hatred for him inside of her that that's all she sees. But as of right now, she's like, I, I have to look at him and, holy shit, I'm on it. <laughs> to look at him in a different light, you know. It's more like her anger side is more like SAO Alice. <laughs> and her current self is more can, can we say darkness? I mean <laughs> Kinda. If there's another character that I can think about where she's sweet and caring, that will probably come to me. I, also, the fact that she ate all that, girl. I thought Yui was bad. <laughs> Oh. No, it suits you. She just has stuff on her mind. You just want her to talk it out. There we go. There we go. Yes. And he can just listen to you. She's not going to be able to transform this week. <laughs> Run is the band! <laughs> okay. Precious baby.
Yeah, but you know they're limited edition, and once they're you know done, they're done. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, happy time. I think I still have stuff from Publix that I bought yesterday. Oh, it's cute! Talk to them about it. Oh, God, this is just going to be scary because we're not going to have the most OP pretty here for the season helping them because, you know, situation. How is she going to handle this? Uh, hurry, don't just do it. Um, No, it just seems weird to just go back to that, but of course...
哦。But it ain't like Laura, the fucking mean queen. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Oh, He's right. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, lose yourself into it. Because, honestly, that's what happened the last time. Aww. <laughs> they literally say, yeah, we're going to hold, we're just showing her whole transformation all over again. I'm not mad at it because it's just so fucking beautiful. See, she's just still once again over here saying, you know, telling everyone why she is the best cure of this show. Like, that's it. We all know it. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Even though you have your frames, we all know who the best girl is.
Good job, baby. Even though it ain't Halloween, yeah, yeah, we can celebrate a week early. A couple of days early, like, it's only the 23rd for me. keep doing this seriously once again you can't do this i swear like <laughs> it's like we're just a bunch of go on monday episodes <laughs> like I've, i feel like when they were doing when they were writing this last year or whatever they whatever they they kind of finished tropical rouge and then they were like yeah we're gonna go ahead and do delicious um when they were thinking of the episodes and such, because, like, I'm trying to think of, like, similar to Family Guy, where, you know, it takes almost, like, a whole year to do a whole season. And maybe it does. I don't really know that much, really, for Toei and, you know, their anime, like, works and everything and it's like that and how long it takes to do a whole season. Because it's usually about 49, almost 50 episodes. Well, older seasons used to be about 50 episodes. Now the number is usually about 48 to 49 now. Um, but usually it always, the budget uh, sometimes will go for the season usually to the best girl. They, It's always like they have a favorite. Last year was like a mixture of both Manatsu and Laura, and you could really... Well, no, I'll take that back. Honestly, really, last year was heavily focused on everybody being the favorite, and you could tell that every episode was so, like, well-crafted on making each girl the best girl for everyone, because, of course, it seemed like everybody had favorites. That's cute. Okay. Um, but for this, you can automatically tell. It, the love for I'm uh, for Amane, it, it's there. I literally cannot think of any other episode for this series as of now where Amane focus episodes get that, like, the, like, almost like the end card-esque, like, trademark and such. As someone who just finished watching the previous episode of Bochy the Rock, and seeing, like, the quote-unquote final illustration for, you know, the final episode and saying, hey, thanks for watching, you get to have that sweet little moment where it's just, like, the art looks like a freaking kid colored it, like, really colored it, and it looks so freaking pretty. But, as I always say, Amane episodes are literally the best. Like, Kobane is still, like, mm, mm, yeah, Kobane's episodes are really good, too, um, and such, because she was my best girl before, you know, Amana came in and <laughs> her ass and be like, no, mm -mm, I'm best girl. Um, I will still say the Yui Princess episode, that was, that's number one for Yui because damn, like, that was a really different-esque episode and a lot of us who did watch the episode, whether it was the day of or the day before, everybody had high, really good remarks. Um about that episode and really kind of want to see Toei do something similar to that um to the next series because you know them <laughs> let's go ahead and say it now because we are getting we're only like a couple of days out of October saying so, you know, the last couple of days that I get to celebrate my damn birthday month um we know that something possibly maybe has been officially trademarked because the leaks and everything are slowly but surely going to come out. So, but I'm guessing we're not really going to officially see something until December. Usually by December is when we really get to see the name of the new show, maybe some new, like, art of the new girls and what they look like mainly in their pretty cure form. And then I think... Once we get to, like, January, that's when we get to see, you know, their regular form and then more art and then who, eventually, who the seiyus are for the show. But then it's also the sadness because after that, you know, once we get to January, we're getting slowly but surely closer to the end of Delicious Party Pretty Care. But, 
it's like Lash all over again with Tropical Rouge and how I love that so much and stuff and then it's like sad because you don't want to say goodbye to these characters but you know because of Crunchyroll it's on there so you can watch all the freaking time but as I said today's episode was really good probably maybe in my top five and such but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 33 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday or Sunday for episode 33. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!